One of the things the energy master plan calls for is a lot of behind the meter or rooftop solar. So imagine everyone on your block has solar panels on the roof of their house. Um, it sounds great, but those the, the distribution circuits, the poles and wires that run down the street weren't designed for that sort of grid. They're designed for power that's produced from a central location and is distributed outwards to everyone. When you start producing, uh, start generating electricity on, on everybody's rooftop, then you have to change your distribution grid. Now, sometimes the grid can handle it, dep depends how much uh, solar energy you put on. Other times you have to com re completely rebuild the local circuits. And that could entail costs of, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars just for one single circuit. Uh, just imagine the circuit that runs down your neighborhood, it's going to cost, say, a million dollars to fix it to allow all that solar. And, and the reason you have problems is that the solar energy, the output can be very variable. It can, you know, a cloud can go by, suddenly you have no solar. The grid, the distribution grid has to be... Uh, uh, built to to withstand that so you don't get these huge changes in voltage and frequency when those happen the lights go out and and the plan is not only ignoring all those infrastructure costs which it all which somehow says will be subsidized not but it never identifies who's doing the subsidy who's providing the subsidies um, you know they want to to subsidize all those electric vehicle charging stations uh, which will cost billions of dollars. Those are all going to be paid eventually by New Jersey businesses and consumers. Uh, there's no one else. So, you know, you, you add those infrastructure costs, you add up the costs of higher electricity prices. And, and again, it's going to be staggering. It won't be 65 billion, it'll probably be double that, at least. 